Hello, everybody. I'm Jesse On. Welcome back to Stellaris. It's been a few days. I believe when I last left off, I was going to give these things some thing to do. Um, we've got our three colonies. We might be able to take this off. Um, somewhat low on energy. Well, I mean, like, somewhat low in gaining energy, even though we're almost... You know, we're, we're almost there to the max. Um, low minerals, but we actually have uh, quite a bit coming in. And then influence that uh, is now accruing a lot sl more slowly because of these frontier outposts. Um, let's take a look. We've got a few people that like us, a bunch of people that don't like us. Oh, apparently other people have created a... Uh, have created alliances as well. So we are the... We are the Grand Pact, and then other people are the Favorable Compact. Uh, Alright, so, let's, uh, science ship. Go out here. Other science ship. Go here. And we'll uh, start it going. While we do this, let's take a look at our worlds. I always click on armies for some reason, even though that's pretty much useless. All these look good. Gonna need to... Um... Need to just build something there when it's finished, and then this will be completed. Um, basically all we'll have to do is just upgrade when we get new upgrades. Um, what we'll probably do is, if we get Hydroponic Farms 2, we'll just upgrade one of these and then we can change the rest into something else. Oh, what's we get? Crystalline Entity, okay. Uh, we could probably go beat them up. Next we have this planet which can upgrade some things as well. It's got, it's growing up here. Uh, you... I'm going to build a... I'm going to build a mining network here, and then upgrade your power plant. That looks pretty good for now. Oh, this guy needs uh, something there as well. Mining network. And Fiert, the Guile World, you're growing. You're growing all right, at least. What's this? Atmospheric aphrodisiac. All right, so you're gonna grow faster. And does this planet have any? This planet doesn't have any modifiers. Take a look at our things. Oh, good. We could use more influence. Colonize Ocean Worlds unlocks this resource that I don't really know what it does. Um, mountain range. Let's see, do we want to clear, need to clear any mountain ranges? This one actually does have some mountain ranges to clear, so we'll go ahead and take that. What's this trade deal? Migration and migration, alright, I don't know what you're doing. So, let's look at the Saiban. They are, uh, they're tundra, and we're tropical, so... We can actually, like, m um, migrate into their areas. Except I don't think they have anything that we would be able to get. <laughs> but I think that's what, um, that's what migration access is, is I think they can migrate to and fro between, uh, our, our areas. System survey complete. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Are they all done? Oh, because you ran away, because you're a little wuss. Um, and you've finished. That's what you're there. Uh, construction ship. Construction ship build. Build. 
No, build mining stations here. Evading hostile fleet. Oh, there's a hostile fleet there. More crystalline entities. take a look at our spaceport. We don't have level up upgrade technology yet. We can build more some more corvettes though, so let's go ahead and do that. Once we get to five colonies, which is our max that we can directly control, and I don't know if there's any tech that increases that. We'll have to create some sectors. Um, which I, I, I've watched a few videos. I'm not really sure how they work. But basically you basically create an AI governor. And it manages sections of space. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we may not get to it for a while. Survey that. <laughs> Alright, so what else we got? Assist research, that's going to be good. Three months left on our level 2 torpedoes, which are going to be really good, and we'll probably end up just upgrading our fleet with that. Construction complete. Hmm. Yeah, you're gonna low incoming transmission. Who's this? Star charts, sure. Who was that anyway? That was these guys, okay. So invite so they won't accept the alliance. The other guys would accept it. Um they don't like us quite enough. <laughs> How's this world doing? All right, you finished building there. Go ahead and just have a basic hydroponics farm, which, you know, it's kind of sucky, but it also doesn't require any power, and it's cheap to build, and it's just, just to keep it going. Research complete. Hey, what we got? Yeah, that's right. So, level 2 armor, um, defense platforms. Mass drivers, which are just like the level one um, kinetic weapons. I think we want the ion thrusters. Let's let's have our um, let's have our general do some stuff. Let's, let's have you guys go down here. See if you can blow up that uh, those crystalline entities and like just get some experience on the general or on the. It's an admiral because he's a space guy rather than a rather than like a ground attacking guy. 
So anyway, let's have them down, go down there, wreck some space amoebas. Or, they're crystalline entities, not the amoebas. Construction complete. So you finished building that uh, that thing. So you're giving us four food and like nothing else right now. But rushing food is kind of what we want to do at the moment. But rush that's about as much food as we can rush. All right, so yeah, we can upgrade this. So let's go ahead and do that. And then let's also... How you doing on food? You've got a lot of food, so that's not quite as important yet. We'll build a science lab here. And then we'll... Are these about the same? Yeah, they cost the same either way. Alright, so we'll go ahead and clear that. No, wait, no, 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 no. Cancel. Yeah, we want to clear this one. because it's right next to our administration building and we can get bonuses. And I imagine we'll get bonuses here as soon as this gets built as well. <laughs> All right, we want to build some... Build some... Uh... Yeah, build these research stations. Give us some research, so we can actually research faster. Oh, geez, got some allergies. Never fails. Alright, here we go. These guys shouldn't be too big of a problem. We'll wait, um... Go after these guys since they're coming pretty much right at you. Uh, ancient orbital shipyard drifts in silence above this world. It has suffered significant battle damage and entire sections of the facility are missing. Research that. Oh, alright. Stop that. I hate when they're rushing around all the time. Like, fuck off and die. There we go. This, there you go. Fight them off. See, they're gonna come in like three equal bunch. Crystalline entities basically use a similar news missiles of some sort. They are not nearly as strong as ours. Oh, that's so good. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Especially since they don't have any anti-missile technologies at all, we just blow them up easily. While conducting their survey of Akamar 3A, the analyzing eye detected the remains of an automated shipyard in orbit. It is at least a thousand years old and seems to have been subjected to a heavy missile barrage, but one of its manufacturing bays is still in working condition. Science officers can confident that power can be restored to the shipyard. It would be a significant project. You're gonna go do that. Go to... You're, you're gonna like... You're gonna research that project. Wow, you got so many anomalies there. Leave, leave B for now. You're gonna focus on the space thing. Yeah, the automated shipyard. And then you are gonna come here. Research. Oh, oh, not this one. The director of the Museum of Exobiology on Macaw has issued a request for the procurement of several live alien specimens. These creatures were spotted on surveyed habitable worlds, but they are difficult to capture. It will require the full resources of a science ship for a lengthy period of time. Situation we'll gather them. Updated. There we go. Uh, you guys... I mean, you're barely hit, but go back for repairs and probably upgrades. I need to upgrade these right now. That's a construction ship. That's our Corvettes, these guys. Here you go, armored torpedoes. Boop, boop. And we got minus five. Alright, so we'll upgrade our... We'll put that right in there. We don't have very much in the way of defense technologies, it seems. Um, 
Go ahead and upgrade that as well. And then, um... We can put that... Oh, wait, we... Oh, we can't. Derp. Um, no, we can't do that. So we have to actually keep this on there. Because it's got to power our ridiculously strong weapons. Anything that takes extra power? Not yet. Possibly our ion thrusters will, um... Cost a little extra power. So we'll call that good for now. Our, uh, our ships continue to get much more expensive. And we'll do these things. Researching the... You're traveling over here. That's our science ship. These guys are going back for repairs and upgrades. This here. Build science lab. Incoming transmission. What is this? Star charts for star charts? Alright. I guess I'm just too, uh... Trying, just, uh, trying to keep people a little too happy on that. This right here... It's being... That's going to be cleared. That's being built. Then what is it? Then what's being built? Oh, this down here, right. They're going for a little while. We don't need to bother with that. Science Officer Eyes of Teal has successfully restored power to the automated shipyard. The facility immediately resumed its interrupted construction order, using what materials it had on hand to build an advanced frigate of unknown design. Unfortunately, the ancient facility broke down completely afterwards and has been deemed beyond repair. We have sent a crew to the new ship and pressed it into service with our fleet. So there we go, we got a new ship. Um, you're gonna go... Research complete. You... Oops, no, okay, so... We want to merge it that way. I've never figured out how it was, I just needed to read the tooltip. Because sometimes they show up in different ways. It's like, merge selected feats into as few fleets as possible. Fleet selected last, lower on the list, will merge into fleet selected first. So I need to select this fleet first. I'm doing it the opposite, I'm like, I want to tell this ship to go here, but really I want to tell this ship to accept this ship as part of its fleet. Resettlement cost lower. Artificial moral codes, that's funny. A circumstance that dictate what is moral, define the circumstances, and ethics is like clay in your hands. That's funny. Um, oh, we got crew quarters. Ship upkeep minus 20. Debris oh, these are good. Let's go with that one. You finished uh, analyzing all that debris? No, you're just finished. What are you doing here? Where you at? Alright, so you've got a... Construction complete. Research complete. Alright, so we'll track these chips. Oh wow, there's a lot. Usually there's just six. Alright, so you're gonna start doing this thing now. Provided we can actually... No, we can't actually get in there, so I don't know what you're expecting. Let me zoom out a bit. Debris analyzed. Wait, why have... No, this... No. Stop it. That's a different fleet. That's not our ship at all. I'm dumb. Okay. Just had to check the time there. Debris analyzed. Construction complete. Um, what do we want? Do we want disruptors? I don't think we do. That's energy weapons. I thought we did... 
Oh, improved assist research, right. Colony development speed. <laughs> Scientists leveled up. Okay, I'm gonna like actually go down to normal speed for a moment because I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. This science ship is going over here. This science ship is analyzing this. Research complete. He's finished that. Reanalyze, research complete. Oh, goody, we got we got our green shard thrower. Just we didn't even try. Uh, yeah, we don't need to actually do anything. Science ship, okay. Research complete. Find other things that you need to do. Go. Go um, research this project. So they'll, these will keep them busy for a little while. We want to see if we can get um, Donger. <laughs> we want to see if we can get any sort of um, access to these guys who do not like us, right? I mean, I, let's let's take a look. We just want some civilian border access. They're they're like they're way not gonna accept it. <laughs> but can I give any of energy credits? I mean, I'm guessing not. Yeah, that, that's not gonna happen. So pretty much effed there. <laughs> Engineering research. We can get better missiles. Not these aren't torpedoes; these are just missiles. Um, I think we want the mineral silo. Excuse me, that's a stupid name for your ship. It was like what was it? The first murder, which was like a really super badass name. All right, so if we want to upgrade, that's an easy upgrade. 163 minerals. Apparently they, they still just met somewhere out in space and didn't actually go dock. Alright. Alright, so everything here is full. They have one food left, which is perfect. We'll wait for the engineering lab to get, re to get researched. And over here... Um... So far, everything to be built has been built. This will upgrade. And then this will upgrade, the bio lab. We can build a basic power plant here. What we should have done on this one, replace this with the frontier clinic. So we'll also do that and call that one good. And then we'll want to clear this. <laughs> and then also clear that right after. So let's, they've got quite a list of uh, work things to work on. Construction chip. Build a research station over there. Our science ships are working on this. <laughs> it's going to take them a long time to do these too, so like don't even think worry about these guys. They'll be a while put that back up on fast. We gotta go fast. These guys have almost made it. They're almost to the uh, almost back to the ship or back to the station. Anything else we want to do here? I guess build some more Corvettes. There we go.
These guys will make it back eventually. Corvettes build super fast. Look at this. Like, that may get built before they even dock at the station and we'll have to merge fleets again. Where's this new frigate? Oh, this is a frigate. Right, okay. Yeah, it built. So let's take a look at this. It's got disruptors and, like, level 4 lasers. Holy crap. It's got double armor, level 2 armor, level 2 shields, and then like crazy antimatter reactors. And I, the one thing I'd like is I'd like to be able to, because having this, I'd like to be able to reverse engineer it. I'd love for that to be a thing, because these are all things that I'd like to have. There we go. Research complete. Wait, what's the difference between these guys? Oh, right, because I haven't upgraded them. Research complete. New research. We got our mineral Special storage. Complete. The Tasser Gold, or Tasser Goid, I think it's Goid, is an extremely lethal predator that stalks the dense jungles of Analyzing Eye at night. Oh, here's another thing. There's a bit of typos on this specific mission. I've done this before playing it by myself. Instead of the planet, it puts the name of the ship there. So that's just like a little a little bug typo in there. I'm sure they'll get that fixed up. Paralyzing its prey with electric shocks before sucking their brains out with its tube-like mouth. Unfortunately, three of the crew members from the Analyzing Eye were lost to these creatures before specimens could be secured. The Museum of Exobiology on Macaw will rename one of its wings after these brave officers to honor their sacrifice. So one's research, one specimen's collected and we get a whole ton of society research. Um, let's get our level 2 armor, since that doesn't cost any power. Armor doesn't cost power, it just adds to the, uh, to the cost of the ship. Um, you, where next? Oh, holy crap, I didn't even see one over here. That's not gonna happen. Zoom in so I can click on the thing. Research this project. Build some mining stations. <laughs> How's our building here looking? That's almost completed. Or almost upgraded. They're all done. This, they've got a lot of food. I can't, I'm not gonna mess with it yet still. Special project complete. Crew of the Glide has managed to collect a small group of Udalorans from the icy surface of whatever planet that's that. These white furry omnivores wrap themselves into tight balls and roll across the <laughs> planets, it's supposed to be planets, snow fields at astonishing speed. One animal is clocked over 80 kilometers per hour. This aided in their detection since the passage of their rolling forms kicked up huge plumes of swirling snow. So a whole ton more. Um, but that's the thing, like. So that's completed. Elusive tar black. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're, like. They really. Research complete. This thing is, this, this particular. This particular mission is just nonsense because it'll put them on any sort of surveyed world. And if you happen to have the tech that allows you to see what other people have surveyed, then, which I think is also a bug, you shouldn't be able to see what like your enemies have surveyed. That's silly. But if even if it's like no matter where, it'll just randomly plop them on there. So like we can only get these three. There's no reason to Research complete. keep tracking Ships these. Upgraded. Construction complete. So this one's going to be pretty much done. <laughs> Alright. Crew quarters, engineering bay, cool. Alright. Orbital hybrid Alright, we want this one. This gives us planetary capital, an upgrade for our capital building, which will give us influence at max level. Um, 
Level 2 shields. Level 4 power. Warp drive 2, which gives us better range on warp drive. These are all very good choices. Oh boy, I kind of want to get... Let's get this one. Alright, let's get the shields. So science ship, um, you've done your thing. See if that space amoeba is still hanging out. And also, you guys also go see if that space amoeba is hanging out. Hmm? Oh yeah, we're going. We're running a deficit now. Again, I'm not too worried. We've almost got enough pops here that we can upgrade our reassembled ship shelter into an actual capital <laughs> capital building. But I think I'm going to call it here for now. Um, so thanks for watching. I'm Jesseon. This is Stellaris. Hope you're enjoying it. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>